Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D abstract background. Now for this you won't need Cinema 4D or 3D Max. In fact you're just going to use a website that is DeviantArt. So if you type in 3D abstract, it'll basically bring up this website that is pretty cool. A uh, link will be in the description, or you can type it in. Either way, and if you go to gallery, it'll just bring up an array of array of 3D images, as you see here. Now, depending on what sort of colours you want to go with, uh, use them. For the basic background, I'm going to use this one. Oh yeah, by the way, um, link will be in the description for this template, so... Pause the video, download it, takes a couple of seconds, and come back to me. And if you've done that, or you didn't need to do that, copy the image. Have the background selected, and go to Edit and Paste. Now you want to make it bigger, so go to Edit, Transform, and Scale. Get rid of the black bars at the bottom by just making it too big to fit on. There we go. And hit, uh, hit the tick box to OK that. And you've got a basic background, which looks pretty cool. Uh, now, the next you want to do is you want to have a different one. Uh, I recommend the same sort of colours. For example, ones like pinky, purpley, orangey sort of feel. And just click on that, edit, uh, right-click, copy. And now go to the top layer and go to edit, transform, scale. i tell you what, what did I do? not thinking edit and paste obviously sorry edit transform and then scale it once you've pasted it make it fill up all these boxes here that you, that you um, will be filling in so maybe make it stretch out wide so it's not as um, stretched <laughs> uh, tick that now you want to make sure you've got a link of the uh, well not the link but the but uh, another copy of the template uh, downloaded. So don't save it once you've downloaded the template. Otherwise, you have to download it again or you could lose it, whatever. But go on the comments and hit shift and go to top bar. Right click and merge the layers. So it's all in one layer then. Then on the layer 2 that you just imported, right click and go to create clipping mask. And very basic, it will just overlay onto the um, under un the layer that's underneath it. In this case, it's the um, all the different boxes for the different areas. So you've got the basic 3D sort of background. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and then what you can do is you can maybe go on to right click and go to blending options or double click. And you can add a stroke to the outside. Okay, whatever you like. Whatever floats your boat. Maybe add a bevel and emboss, change the settings to what you want, so it's 3D. Um, you could also lower the opacity on both of these layers. So you can basically see more of a background. Looks pretty cool, but however, the, st the front layers are still there. Uh, modify it to yourself. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you want to make some text go along the side, make a new layer, text. Type in what you want. Text, for example. Make it 720. And then just go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And you can just hold it up against the... Wherever you like it, really, if you want it to go down the page. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, it's been an annotation. To, you know, if you want to learn how to make a basic YouTube background, basically... Working with layer styles, blending options, and and also a template. Uh, clip that if you wish. And uh, that is about it from me. Uh, if this helps you out at all, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye now.